Three things narcissists do when you move on. When you are tired of dealing with the narcissist, when you decide to move on from them, there are some things that they will do. In some situations, they will just forget about you and find someone else to manipulate. But if you were a valuable appliance to the narcissist, they're not going to forget about you so easily. So here are three things that narcissists do when you move on. One, hoovering. When you move on, the narcissist will try to hoover you. This may happen instantly, or it may take a few weeks or a few months. In some situations, they can even return years after you have moved on. Even when the narcissist appears to discard you, it's just an illusion. They just keep you on the shelf in case they need you in the future. But they never let you go completely. And when you try to move on, they struggle to let you go. Because they need you more than you need them. The narcissist doesn't hoover you because they love you or care about you. They don't hoover you because they miss you. The only reason why a narcissist hoovers anyone is because they want supply. They have a pathological and excessive need for attention and admiration from codependents, but they do not consider your feelings, opinions or preferences. It's all about what they can get from you. Whether it's attention, admiration, money or a place to stay. They want something from you. And that is the only reason why they are hoovering you. When a narcissist doesn't want something from you, you will never see or hear from them again. But it's never about sharing anything with you because they have nothing to give. They believe that you exist to serve them. They believe that people are meant to cater to their needs. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance, which results in a strong sense of entitlement. So they feel that they are deserving of privileges and special treatment. They feel entitled to you. They believe that they have a right to your time, energy or money. The narcissist may hoover you directly. They may text or call you. They may message you on social media. They may come to your home or the place where you work. Or they may even hoover you indirectly. They may get someone else to contact you. Either way, it's just their way of playing peekaboo. They want you to know that they're still there. They may try to love bomb you again. They may compliment you and buy you gifts. They may give you false apologies and fake epiphanies. They may use future faking. 
They will try anything to manipulate you and to lure you back into the toxic relationship. But it's not because they miss you. They just miss their supply. And when you give them the attention they're looking for, all it does is feed their egos. They don't really see you. They either see a reflection of their false self or a reflection of everything they hate about themselves. And if you're not willing to entertain their false reality, it will cause a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. Because they cannot deal with rejection, they are very insecure. Which is why you need to be very cautious if the narcissist is hoovering you. You never know how they might react when you reject them. They may try to cause more problems for you. Stalking. When you move on, instead of trying to hoover you, some narcissist will just stalk you. They will monitor your social media accounts. They will talk to people about you and try to find out what you're doing. They may even tap your phone or computer. They may track your car. They may place hidden surveillance cameras in your home. There's really no lengths that a narcissist won't go to, to contain their supply, to keep you under their control, because your supply is very valuable to the narcissist. Which is why they are willing to invest so much of their time, energy and money into locking you down. Because they understand what your supply is worth. They're addicted to you. Which is why it's so difficult for them to let you go. The stalking may start as soon as you try to move on. Or it may start after you reject the hoover attempts. Narcissists do not respect boundaries. They cannot take no for an answer. They feel entitled to do whatever they want. Regardless of how it affects you. So they will invade your life in any way that they can. While you were with them. They may have led you to believe that they don't really need you. But you will see a completely different side of them when you finally decide to move on. You will see someone who is very possessive and controlling. Someone who is very desperate for your attention and desperate people do desperate things. Which is why they will go out of their way to stalk you. And they may even leave little clues to let you know that they are watching you. Narcissists have very sick and twisted minds. They get off on things that normal people would find to be disturbing. They are sadistic. They derive pleasure from afflicting pain, suffering and humiliation onto people. And many of them even have a voyeuristic fetish. They gain sexual pleasure from watching you when you are naked or engaged in sexual activity. They derive enjoyment from seeing your pain and distress. Be very cautious when you are moving on from the narcissist. 
If they haven't already, they may tap your phone. They may track your car. And they may even install hidden surveillance cameras in your home. Free smear campaign. When you try to move on from the narcissist, they're not going to let you go that easily. Especially if you were a valuable appliance to the narcissist. They're going to put out all the stops. They are going to make every possible effort and use all available resources to achieve their desired outcome or result. It will seem like they have dedicated their lives to this newfound purpose. It will reveal just how important you are to them. But while you were with them, they made you feel small. They made you feel like you didn't matter. But when you move on, that is when you will see just how much you matter to them. That is when you will see just how important you are. Because in many situations, they will go out of their way to start a smear campaign against you. They will try to get as many people as they can on their side and they will turn them against you. It can be quite a shocking event to witness. But it does happen. Which is why it is something that you need to be aware of. When you are trying to move on, the narcissist will do whatever it takes to pull you back in. They will do whatever it takes to contain you and keep you under their control. Because you're like their life support. You keep them going. They wouldn't know what to do without you. They wouldn't know where to start. And they are very envious and jealous people. They cannot stand the thought of you moving on and being happy without them. Because they already know that they're never going to move on. They already know that they're never going to be happy. Which is why they are willing to invest all of their time and resources into preventing you from achieving what they want most. Whether it's money or a good job, happiness and contentment, a relationship or children. Because this tends to be what narcissists want the most. They want what everyone else wants. But they're also aware that they are predestined to never get what they want. They're never going to be happy with or without you. Because they can't self-reflect. They can't be at peace with themselves. Because they don't want to hold themselves accountable for their actions. They don't want to deal with their shame. So instead, they carry it with them for the rest of their lives while trying to dump it onto other people. Which may be something that relieves their pain for a moment. And they may even get a kick out of it. But it is also the very thing that is going to keep them stuck in this miserable state for the rest of their lives. The narcissist may think that they are gaining power over you by starting a smear campaign against you, but it only destroys them in the end. It turns them 
and everyone else who participates in it into something they never thought they would be. Although many of them may have been this way all along and just hit it well. The truth is you cannot build anything deep or meaningful based on lies and deception. Their focus in life revolves around tearing things down rather than building people up. And that is why they will never be happy. They will never get the satisfaction that they are looking for. But that won't stop them from trying. Like an addict staring at a line of cocaine, they cannot help themselves. They will only continue to run themselves into the ground. While thinking that they're doing an act of service for their community. Narcissists are delusional people. And they will only attract other people of the same kind. Or they will manipulate people who are foolish and naive. When you try to move on from a narcissist, it is not the beginning of the end. It is only the end of the beginning. In many situations, they will not just move on and forget about you. They will hold on to you for dear life. They are highly dependent on you. They feel inadequate. So they need a part of you to sustain that existence. But when the narcissist hoovers you will start a smear campaign against you. It's not because they care about you. It's not because they want justice. They will always be the hero or victim in every situation, but it's just an act. The only reason why a narcissist comes around you or tries to remain in your life is because they want something from you. You provide some form of convenience to them. You enable them to proceed without difficulty. You contribute to their easy and effortless way of life. Now that they've found this convenience that you are willing to provide, they don't want to let it go. And they certainly don't want to see you running off with the goods. Once a narcissist gets involved with you, they feel like they own you for life. They feel like you are forever responsible for their feelings and needs. And if you don't see it the same way, it will only further motivate them to destroy you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coachnetmarksurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.